What's up, everybody? My name is Max Maxine, aka Brandon. Today, we're going to play some more Cyberpunk 2077. So, I'm going to be doing the series on Mondays now. Um, do it on Mondays because I want to just get, I have, usually have the time to do it and I can actually get through that story. Um, so, Mondays will be Cyberpunk Day. Choose uh, whenever I stream again, normally Wednesday or Thursday. It's probably going to be Wednesday this week. Wednesday, I'm going to probably do, uh, or Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday, depending on my week. I will do a fighting game, and then on Thurs on Friday or uh, Friday or even Saturday, depending on the week. Uh, on Fridays, I'll probably do uh, Forza Motorsport, and then on weekends, I'll just kind of pick between the three and do maybe another play more Cyberpunk or do something else. But Mondays are going to be Cyberpunk dedicated because I wanted to get, well, you know, I have the time, I can get into it a little bit more. And Cyberpunk's not hard to get into because I can, I know the beginning part of the story mostly, so I can really just hunker down, do the story mode. I eventually want to play the DLC, so the DLC is going to be kind of interesting to play through and just kind of seeing what the DLC is all about. That's what Idris Elba. Um, so, but let's get back into the story. Let's click there. Let's go. So, give or take, these videos might be about an hour or so overall. And it's not my first. This is not really the first time I played through it. Um, this is like my third or fourth time hey, playing through it. Everyone. So I do know the game. I know. Oh, have you back. So then, did you all hear about that Arasaka aircraft carrier docked in Night City called Kujira or The Whale? Apparently, the corp figured it wasn't safe in Japanese waters, afraid some local fishermen might harpoon it for scientific research. But honestly, it's oh. quite the power. Okay. All right, so we left off with calling Dex. How things looking, Miss V? Got the bot. And how'd it go? Run into any trouble? And what about the Militech angle? Sure, of course there was trouble. Royce couldn't have given two shits that you and Brick had shaken on it. How'd you get him on board? You used the corporal woman? Met with Stout, managed to strike a deal. Well, well. Gave me the chip with the scratch from Maelstrom. I warned Royce. We made a deal. You got some balls, Miss V. What about the meet with Evelyn Parker? Still on the to-do list. Uh -huh. That meet's the only thing that'll get you a chance at grabbing that chip. Parker will be waiting for you at Lizzie's bar. Good luck. So we're going to Lizzie's bar to do that angle, which is... Actually, really interesting because this is the first side character you meet, and the first side character you meet is Judy, which is one of the fun, one of the funnest characters in the game, I think, and one of the cooler ones. I'll get my car, and then we'll get going. I can head over there now. I think Lizzie. in the area. Disorderly conduct reported in Watson. 331 responding. On my way dispatch. But huh. That's I a like platinum you. thing I've never done. So you kill an enemy after that. Okay. I will say the game is more stable. It feels more stable. The first time I played it, it wasn't as unstable. Uh, it had a little bit of la a little bit of stuff to it, but nothing ever serious. I never had some of the bugs that people got. Um, still overall fun. I'm I played it, played through some of the campaigns. I love this. This is my one of the few story games I love to play. I actually really enjoy the thing for it. Okay, there we go. Where we All units in the area, order has been restored. All units instructed to return to patrol. Look at the vehicle. Is it time? Can hey I get there, in here? doll face. Interest you in a preem BD? Sure. In I go. Hold it. House rules first. There will be severe penalties for any unauthorized recording. 
No drugs, no groping. Someone catch your eye? You do not grab them. You find them in the catalog, ask for a BD, and get yourself a box. I really look that green to you. Like I don't know. Mm-hmm. Doors open. Have fun, doll. Welcome to Lizzie's. And Lizzie's bar. This is where... Yep, here we go. Hey! Get you something. Looking for Evelyn Parker. Know if she's here? Who's asking? A big tipper. Generous when I get the answers I'm looking for. Appreciate the gesture, truly. But afraid I don't get paid to talk. Opposite, actually. It's all right, Mateo. I was waiting for this one. Evelyn Parker. I knew it was you as soon as you walked in. Tequila I drink. <laughs> How would you know? I like to know everything about the people I work with. Either that or it was just a lucky guess. I don't have no thing for that. Mind oh, if we okay. talk about the job? <laughs> Heard you got something for me. Mm. But not here. Come with me. We'll be in the lounge, Mateo. Anyone asks, we're not here. So, what can a horny girl like me? Nothing's wrong. Really? Why don't you just tell me the truth? I just told. Okay. But. Dex had a load to say about you. Called you professional, effective, and trustworthy. I hope he wasn't overselling. Oh, I don't have an answer. I'm gonna do. I'm good I'm waiting. Do. Got a solid crew up my back, too. Never once botched a job. You do realize I expect more of you than. Scraping street corner data terms. Much, much more. I'm the best, and I know what I'm getting into. Dex was clear. The job's high risk. By the way, you work together long? You and Dex? You write in Dex's bio? Hate to disappoint, but I just don't know much. In other words, you hardly know each other. Yet he fingered you for this job. Hmm. Curious. Shit, buzz Dex right now if you're getting cold feet. I can wait. I doubt he'd add anything I haven't already heard. Anything I'd really like to hear for that matter. There's only one other bunch that's worse than fixers in that respect. Used car salesman. <laughs> I'll go with my gut for hmm. now. Let's Good, huh? cut to the chase. <clears throat> what do you got for me? Your target. I trust you know what it is. Relic. Secure your soul trinket. Key tech in the program, actually. We're tangling with Arasaka. Making this heist one dangerous, risky motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Arasaka's poured billions into personality transfer technology. But me, I just want the data on this one. The chip is tucked away inside Compeki Plaza, the hotel. You ever been? Classy Corp hotels? Mm, yeah, no. How to my price range? Hmm. Oh, the decor's to die for. As you'll see for yourself. 
So where's this chip hiding, exactly? In a suite on the top floor. The room's occupied by Yorinobu Arasaka. Yorinobu Arasaka? He's in town? Don't you read the scream sheets? The media couldn't get enough of Yori coming to Night City. It was all over the headlines. Anyway, he's heir apparent to the Arasaka Empire. Saburo Arasaka's only surviving son. What, so Arasaka Jr. is planning to grab the reins while in Night City? Only a handful of people in Night City know what the Arasaka's real plans are. Telling me you're one of them? Top dog like Yorinobu is bound to have an army on call. Hotel's probably a goddamn fortress by now, too. Yorinobu keeps exactly no hustle around. Not one guard. Got rid of them a long time ago. Huh. Huh. Why is that? Surely you know what they say about Arasaka Intel. Sneeze in Night City, and a blossom drops from a cherry tree in Tokyo. Yorinobu was convinced his Arasaka security detail reported directly to his father. So know. we're not jumping the court. I'm not we're jumping Yorinobu <coughs> Arasaka himself. Yorinobu is a puppet. He lost all his cards years ago when he failed to do daddy's bidding. Saburo's had Yori's balls in a vice for years. He might just turn the screw and crush them outright if he learns his son's up to no good again. Look, if you've got any spare aces up your sleeve, now's the time to show them. Now this should make your tits perk up. Yorinobu recently swiped the chip from an Arasaka laboratory. He's made a deal with Netwatch, aims to sell it to them. Have you spotted my ace yet, or do I need to spell things out? Basically, we're going inside the building to take the chip. It's gonna be fun. Fine. So no Arasaka security on the device, because Yorinobu whisked it away in secret. Now where is he hiding it? Likely in a specialized container. One that mimics an organic neural environment. On the outside, it looks like an ordinary briefcase. And the case is? You'll see for yourself soon enough. Provided we're done gossiping about the Arasakas. Okay, what's next? Now comes the best part. Follow me. Got something for you. Should help you plan. Brain dance from Compeki Plaza. How's a brain dance supposed to help? Need facts, not thrills. <laughs> Think BDs are only good for fondling virtual tits? Jacking off to in those boxes? Like no. We can be a very useful tool. Good for analyzing details, human perception, even boosted, doesn't grasp. Exactly what you need. So what's on the tape? Your Nobu suite. The glorious interior. You'll need to locate the relic yourself. Hope I grabbed enough detail to make that possible. Hold up. You mean to see you recorded this? Mm-hmm. BD rec implant. Why, you object? Supposed to be Yorinobu's pad on the tape. Means you were inside. You, uh, know each other? How else could I get all this intel? I know him pretty well, actually. We have an arrangement. Strictly business. Suits us both, I think. Let's see this brain dance. Judy will help. She's a mox, too. Besides, we go back, uh, years. V, this is important. Judy's always been there for me. Always helped out. I trust her. But she's a mox, not the latest member of your crew. Try not to forget. So you'll be a good girl, tread lightly, and keep that tongue on a leash. Relax. Believe it or not, I'm no stranger to tact. In biz or life. This is V. She's here for that BD role. And V, this is Judy. Best brain dance editor I know. Enough already. Gonna make me barf. Hey, Judy. <laughs> Come 
compiled your BDF. What do you think? Will it do? Still pretty raw, but yeah, ought to do. Mm-hmm. V needs to get deep inside. That's most important. So, let's calibrate. Tune it to her. Believe me, I've dealt with worse. You should see the jig-jig street porn we gotta contend with sometimes. So, we drop V inside? Let her look, let her rummage around, right? How about it, V? Raw brain dance. Ever taken a dip before? <laughs> Think I can handle it. Let's just do this. Right-o. Sit down. Settle in, and we'll get you going. If I remember correctly, technically this is your <clears throat> tutorial into brain dancing, like going through like scrub video and stuff. Um, you only do three of these in the whole game? Two or three, mainly. They're more probably in the back half of the game, where you do a lot more of them. You've got to create your sensory profile mainly... first. Okay, hit me. Just promise me it won't hurt. It won't. Not this time. Now, sit still. Look at me. Gonna run the analysis soft. Should feel a slight tingling. Mm hmm Okay, now let's set the optics and other sensory six. Look smack into these two screens. Pretend it's an eye exam. Am I gonna have to do this calibration dance every time? Not necessarily, but it's worth the wait. Give me two more minutes and you'll see exactly what BD analysis is capable of. One more sec. Need to get the pain receptor limiters in. Okay. All set. You need to test your profile first. Tossing in a sample BD. You can use it to get to know the editor. Now let me see. Where could we... Can't you just use my recording? Why are we wasting time? So we don't risk our necks? Sides won't take a sec. Got something here. Should be perfect. Boot it up. I'm actually gonna do tutorial to be able to shoot it. I've seen it before. I'll give you the tailored version first. Let you get your bearings. Then we'll jump into editing mode. Be diving in and Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out. And we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. And remember, everything on full blast. They'll spot us extra for a wicked adrenaline high. Okay, on you go. Everybody, on the ground, I want to see you kissing the flooring, muddy, now, or I will fucking drop you, I swear to God, whoa, yeah, hey, uh, uh, now, before I blow your fucking head off. Ah! Slow, deep breaths. Your cortisol and adrenaline spiked, but the soft activated your hormone blockers. Nothing happened. You're alive and well. A flash of... intense shock. I can still feel it. I, I remember. Fuck. That last second. Could warn me how much it hurts to die. Trust me, real death hurts much, much more. Not so sure about that. You'll be fine. Got everything set up. Let's switch over to editing mode. I'll sever the link to the BD Roller's sensory array. You'll be able to look around freely. Whole scene's yours. Full cam control and analysis mode. So move around, zoom in and out, whatever else you come up with. Think of it as your own little sandbox. So, analysis mode, you control playback. Can even pause when you feel the need. Then you use the editor console to unpause. Try it. 
Plan simple. Nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out. And we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. Dream as hell, right? Well, that's not all. You can speed things up or rewind, whatever you like. Give it a try. Then I got it. Roll it back to the top. All good, neat. Now try fast forwarding a bit. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash. Yeah. Okay. You can also reset the recording. That'll take you right back to the beginning. Try it. Now for some fun. This here's why you came in the first place. In analysis mode, you get to view and even scan details of the enviro recorded by the BD roller. Focus on the heat. The gun this gonk gets from his buddy at the beginning. Now scan it. Flat and simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in. Sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. And remember, everything on full blast. They'll spot us extra for a wicked adrenaline high. Okay, on you go. Okay, right here. Excellent. Let's move on. Now, heads up. In analysis mode, you can ferret out background noise and conversations if the roller got close enough. This tech records everything, every little detail, even the sights and sounds the roller was never aware of. To see the sources of the recorded sensory signals, switch to the audio layer in the editor. Go ahead and try that now. Okay, good. Now you should see several sound signatures in the store. Choose one and hone in on it. Pack of cigs, case of brosif, and a couple of zappers. Okay. We have a deal today on two flavors. Cody and yeah, Serpentine. Everybody! Oh. So, any thoughts? Unbelievable. <laughs> Seriously, like it was happening right next to me. Yeah, it's how BD recording implants work. They pick up everything, all the elements in the background. Then an editor tweaks them, makes them pop. Keep playing with the sound, explore it a bit. We'll move on when you get bored. Sometimes you can analyze extra layers in the raw, stuff the roller's cyberware picked up. Like what? Ev's got Kiroshi optics that grab infrared, meaning you should be able to grab heat signatures from her recording. Huh. Hella nice. Now let's wait till the guy punches out the gonk at the counter. Okay. We have a deal today on two flavors. Cuddy and yeah. Serpent. Everybody! Autograph! You wanna see you kissing the flooring? Money! Scanning works on peeps, too. Walk up to the wounded chick. Try scanning her. Alright, next thing. Scroll forward to the part where our artist gets a lead injection. saw it coming but you will here it comes my favorite part of the game see the blinking thing over the entrance surveillance cam must have caught our shooter you'll see in a sec cam feeds to the screen behind the clerk roll back to where the screens in the kids field of vision then scan it
Yep. His own Jumba shot him. Probably planned to all along. Must have got a nice slice of cred on the black market for a BD like this. BD freaks are ready to pay a preem for a real plot line. Anyway, if you've seen enough, you can exit. Yeah, it's impressive, right? It's too bad most of the BDs we do here are only good for flogging the log. Anyway, you ready to do this? Look at your wreck? I don't know. I... Ugh, let's take a break. I still feel like that kid when... <sighs> yeah, I think I'm done. V, there's no time. Get it together, please. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Just need T-Buck to link in. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who? Runner for my crew. Security specialist. She'll tell me what to look for while we analyze. No problem, I hope. Actually, it is a problem. Not what we agreed, Ev. Judy, please. Ev, she wants to bring a runner in. What part of that don't you understand? How do I know she'll only slip into this footage? Me. I'm your guarantee. Yeah, right. Remember our agreement? Help me this one last time. I promise everything will work out. <coughs> just like we planned. Okay, V. Call T-Bug and we'll dive in. <laughs> hey, I could like the, doing the scrubbing. Bug, listen, videos. I got some useful footage from Conpecky Plaza. It's a brain dance. Conpecky? Oh, I thought as much. Someone there with you? Judy and Evelyn, they're chill. They're helping me work through this BD. Uh huh. All right. You gonna tell me what this is about? Listen, need your help. Got no clue what to look for once I'm in. All right, see if I can walk you through it. Jacking into your tech now. Mm, you've got to give me access. Opening port 1779. Secure protocol? Good, I'm going in. Should be getting my request now. Got it. You ready? A millisec. Okay, connection confirmed. Now some quick tip ice and we're clear. Ready to dance. Fire her up, Judy. All right, V, eyes open. Gotta find out where Yurinobu's keeping the relic. You look like a cut of fuckable meat, are you? Evelyn, she... I felt her fear. Sure got it under control quick, too. I said, no. They'll have my head for this. Then, you shall perish for a good cause. But, uh, Make yourself comfortable. I need a minute. Listen in on that conversation, V. Could be something important. Okay, so I'll switch to the... In him, but in him. Go, go back and then switch to. What was Mark Foss again? Uh, the... A parish for a good call. How do you switch to. Oh, it's just layers. There we go. Oh, good. No track machine. Then, okay. you shall perish for a good cause. But uh, make yourself comfortable. I need a minute to finish. We shall see soon enough. I need a minute to finish. The program is still in the trial phase. We cannot take it to market as is. We shall see soon enough. Please speak with your father. He's taken a particular interest in this project. He can certainly explain the risks. My father's a tired, visualless old graybeard who thinks nothing will change and he'll live forever in his tiny frozen bubble. 
I should not even be listening to such things. You will listen to this. Saburo is an adult despot, utterly removed from reality. Stuck in some fossilized vision of a world that no longer exists. Of a world that may never have existed. We have not seen eye to eye for the past 20 years. I am quite sure we want now. Read the documentation carefully. The relic requires specific storage conditions. You must not provide it. them. In Heard that? Relic docs gotta be around here somewhere. Look for them. Uh, I'm gonna switch layers, look at the audio. Oh well, thank you for asking. So there's a, there a, oh, the, here in a drone, ventilation and cooling, servers, gotta be, fancy doodads in here need to be controlled. What, so do we have to look? We got a phone. There's something over here. So it's somewhere in here. The program is still in the trial phase. We can't. Oh, wait. Wait. Oh, okay. I see. I see. I'll back up. I'll back up. Oh, he drew. See the Faham Valley. I'll have my head for this. Then you shall pass with the call. Make yourself comfortable. Finish. Oh, okay. There it is. Finish. The program is still in the trial phase. We cannot take it. You cannot on a huge air fly out. The new city is in If need a minute to finish. The program is still in the trial phase. Can I use the air fly out? The new city is in my world. I said. No! 
They'll have my head for this. Then, you shall perish for a good cause. But, uh... Make yourself comfortable. I need a minute to finish. I'm gonna switch leg. I'm gonna switch... Yeah, so I can't see it clearly here. Back up and maybe I can see it clearly somewhere else. I said no. They'll have my head for this. Then you shall perish for a good cause. But uh, make yourself comfortable. I need a minute to finish. The program is still. Oh, so what is that? I think you get it. Oh, it's not even turned on. Okay, I'm gonna do this then. I'll do I said no. They'll have my head for this. Then you shall perish for a good cause. But uh, make yourself comfortable. I need a minute to finish. The program is still in the trial phase. We cannot take it to market as is. We shall see soon enough. Please speak with your father. He's taken a particular interest in this project. He can certainly explain the risks. My father's a tired, visualless old gray beard who thinks nothing will change and he'll live forever. Listen to this. Say this to seven. Listen to this. Saburo is an adult despot, utterly removed from reality. It's fucking something else. Of a world that may never have existed. We have not seen eye to eye for the past 20 years. I am quite sure. Wait, she turned it on. Read the document. She turned it on here. I don't know. We will go show me. Eye to eye for the past 20 years. He's no time. He's a given. He's a given. Specialized vision of a world that no longer exists, of a world that may never have existed. We have not seen eye to eye for the past 20 years. I am quite sure we want now. Read the documentation carefully. The relic requires specific storage conditions. You must, some must, not at them. Enough. Sorry to make you wait. Business can be stupid. Mm, it wasn't long. Not even long enough for me to grow bored. Is everything all right? You seem tense, edgy. A moment, it will pass. Mm, I can get to work on that. Just one condition. You wish to make demands of me. Only one. Focus. Oh, got any candy left? Stuff was pretty fun last time. Bedroom, nightstand. I've got an idea. Be right back. Uh-oh. Be right back, Barry. How you doing tonight? Okay. Do we have any of this candy here? We done. Um, last time. Ah, uh, I might have to, have to, I might have to wait. Nightstand. I've got an idea. Be right There's back. gonna be a little bit before I can do anything with it. Very nice. But come here already. Just a sec. Looking for the perfect thing. Ah, oh, you'll like this. Oh. There we go. I had to wait because I don't I'm mean, where it's in this. Back up. Back up. Back up. Manual details a special tip controlled container. Relic needs to be kept real cool. So chips gotta stay in the freezer. Yep, could damage it otherwise. Okay, switch on thermal layer detection in the editor. 
Should be easier to spot where your Nobu's keeping the chip. Switch to thermal layer. Oh, wait, that's, that's the visual layer. Go back to editing mode. Thermal layer. Alright, so we need to figure out where. It's actually kind of interesting because this is actually really cool. I like this part. So then I'm gonna. Okay, I'm gonna back up a little bit because we need to see. Oh, wait. Just a sec. Looking for the perfect thing. Ah, you'll like this. Stop. Okay. So now, I need to find. There it is. Air conditioning, standard model for hotels of this caliber. Tip matches that stipulated in the docks. But no way the chip's hiding there. Too risky. Temp fluctuations, risk of damage. Kind of weird. Cause I think if I want to go back, I'm gonna go. Oh, wait. Should we go? So we are in the pot now. Nothing is up. Okay, so this is where it's kind of weird because I remember you have to find. I need to back up a little bit. <laughs> I can think of one crew. If it's not in here. It's... Uh, let's switch layers real quick. Let's switch layers. Bedroom. Nightstand. I've got an idea. Oh, okay. Wait, I must... Oh, okay. There we go. That's my thing. Automated turrets. Latest scanner model. Systems all connected to the server. Can you shut them off? Externally? No way. Gotta get in, check out how they link into the system first. That's too. Shit, Kim is packed with new tech. Motion sensors, heat sig activators, IFF. You skilled enough to kill it all? Mucho more than enough. 
Just need access to their subnet. Okay. Step was pretty now... fun last time. Bedroom. Night step. I've got an idea. So right thermal signatures are there. So I got the the air duct. I'm missing one thing though. Very nice, but come here already. Just a. Wait. Okay. She turns on this panel. Back. There's something here. The perfect thing. Okay. There's something here. So this is where it gets kind of interesting. Can't scan. Ah, uh, you'll like this. Oh wait, okay, I remember this now. This is where. Okay, so the table was in that corner. So. That where the air vent was, so I'm missing one thing. That's where the data pad was. Oh, actually, I can go back. I can roll this all the way back. Okay, I think it's at the beginning. That's what I'm looking for. Oh, there we go. Oh, Donaghy's. Looks like Mr. Arasaka had something to celebrate. You really think you'll find the chip in there? No way. Tim's too low. Could fluctuate. Nice try, though. I'm gonna keep backing out because I think there's gonna be something showing up in a second. Okay. Uh, this one. There we go. Just a fancy ass fridge. Tip doesn't match the guidelines. Won't find a thing here. All right, so we're going. Ding. Do we see something glowing? There we go. That's right. map. Grab the heat sig. Matches the spec in the docks. Your has got the case here. Guaranteed. Mm-hmm. We got it. Good work. Looks like we got everything we need. Quit out of the editor. Okay. Mm. Actually, I'll do one thing, because I haven't done this while I was here. I'm going to scan, mister. Player. You look like a cut of fuck all meat, are you? Okay, sorry, scan them. Okay. No. You're good. That was. Get everything you need? Yep. That'll do. Thanks, Judy. We got it. Later, T-Bug. Nice work today. See you soon. I'll wipe the cash on your data. You were never here. Keep it. I'll put it on Ev's tab. Portable device for handling BDs. I already uploaded your calibration settings. Not as sophisticated as what we got here, but should do the trick. And it keeps you out of harm's way. Clever. Speaking of harm's way, know what I see looking at you? Walking, talking corpses. Relax. I got it all under control. If you fuck up and they come knocking on my door, Judy, relax. Not gonna happen. Evelyn, please. No shortcuts. You go that route, City will always win. So be careful. Of course I will be. 
Besides, we'll talk in a bit. All right, time to end of that. Now we head out. Talk to Emily first. Let's right. walk. Well, what do you think? I think I see how you know so much about your Inobu. It's simple. Men like pillow talk a bit too much. So it's just about the sex? Biz. And biz only. You're sure your Inobu doesn't expect this kind of move from you? <laughs> He's got no idea. Trust me. He's too busy with Netwatch to give me that kind of attention. Besides, even if some suspicion takes root in his mind, it shouldn't matter. He won't react in time. And that's something you'll handle, right? You're not worried? Arasaka will flag and screen anyone who's had dealings with your Inobu. Oh, they'll have a long list then. Packed full of big names. Much bigger than mine. You tell me who they check first. Corpo hotshots and cutthroats? Or a little bedroom plaything like me? Intel on your Nobu, the chip, the BD from Compeki. When's a right? Plan's perfect. A job like this comes one in a million. Hmm. Thanks. Now the punchline, please. Just sounds too good to be true. What's the catch? Cold feet. Are you looking to get out of it? I want to know if you're really in control here. That you're not sending me into the sort of shit I can't wait out of. V. I have zero reasons to haze you. We're in this together. Really. I will say that. Trust me that I got good. this. So? What now? V. Do this job for me. I mean me alone. No splitting the payout with anyone else. No middlemen. No decks. If I agree... There'll be hell to pay, for sure. I know. Whatever you decide, it stays between us. I can offer 50%. Eddie's enough to do whatever the hell you like. I'll be finished. Dex won't forgive a dirt move like this. Dex isn't the only fixer in town. But my offer's the only one you'll ever get. Let me think about it. Mm-hmm. If you need me, call. I'll send you my number. Okay. Good luck. Now go. I need a few words with Judy. Level 8. Purple level 7. How things looking, Miss V? Turns out Evelyn's recording from Compeki was worth our time. Beautiful. T-Bug already called. Said she's working her magic. We're all set. Ready to go. What now? Now we do the job I hired you to do, grabbing that biochip. We'll talk about the rest at the afterlife. See you there. Great. Be there in no time. See you, Miss V. All right, <clears throat> so I'm gonna, I'm gonna stream right there. I do thank you for watching. That was getting through the Evelyn storyline, Judy, me for Judy for the first time. That is fun. Now we're heading into going back to the afterlife, talking to Dex, and getting into going to Osaka um, Plaza, the hotel, and getting that chip. So that's gonna be the next part of this. Then from there, we kind of start other journeys from that point on. It's gonna get really fun, really fast. I, I love playing this game. It's one of the most fun ones I've played. Good little storyline, good way of just kind of interacting with the world around you. There's also side missions that must also start. I don't know if I'll start this next time I play or the week next week. I will start the boxing training mission back out, back at where my apartment is, and get the money because that helps you get upgrades and things as well. So there's a lot to look forward to. I'll be back on. I'll be back tomorrow, actually. I'll be back tomorrow. I'm going to play some. Uh, 
Street Fighter 6 or Mortal Kombat 1, probably Street Fighter 6 kind of gets in more uh, jury time with that and just kind of get into more fighting game stuff. And then on Friday, I'll be back to play for Sports and Motorsport. We get through more the Premier Mode. That's the thing you're looking forward to this week. I do thanks for watching. Hope you did enjoy and hope you, hope you see you next time. See ya.